Hello community, I hope you are doing good in this discussion. This is the basic idea about the Voodoo security and in case you missed previous discussion about how to generate a dynamic view using the Postgres view, creating a graph view and pivot view and the list view with the real test case. Please check link is given in the description and if you want to learn more about Voodoo with different topics, you can visit the playlist. Under this playlist, you can see here Odoo development playlist also available. You can see different playlist also available with different task cases, right? Apart from this, you can see here Python related tips and editor related tips available. If you need any support, you can visit the about page. Over there, you can see the email address is available. You can send your query to this email address. Plus, source code is also available in the GitHub and we have like different social media pages you can also follow to get the latest notification plus you can support this channel many ways like buy me coffee paypal or using this join button right so let's back to our main topic what is the security the basic idea about the security here so here we have a two things we need to focus and we need to understand the first one is the access rights and another thing is the record rules right so what is it we will see in a different topic wise so you make sure you will understood perfectly so let's say in access rights we have to control over the crude operations let's say for the specific user you want to provide only read only or they can only create the records only or they can delete or they can update the specific record for the specific model right so here you can control over the crude operation using the access right and here you can define your access rights in the csv file as well as in the xml file we will see what is it right so don't worry about this one then after you can see the record rules so here we have to provide some rules for the record set let's say i have one more table the table is a student profile right so in the student profile there are different roles also available for the different departments so let's say as a normal student they can see own student profile not with other student profile right so administrator department can see all the student profiles and the admin can see all the student profiles as well as all the fully accessed right so here we can define the record rules as a department wise you can add specific operations whether this record they can visible or not so you have a restriction in the record rule level right so this is all about the record rule here and then we can create a groups in the user profile so what it does like it is a combination of the access rights as well as the record rules and here the best example is like let's say in your organization you have a human resource department right so in a human resource department you have a multiple positions let's say intern then after junior hr then after senior hr right so here the senior hr have a maximum rights of the features but let's say if you see in the junior level hr profile over there you have a, some restricted operation like they can't see everything including the main settings and all don't worry about this theoretical part we will see the practical things in our next upcoming session right so don't worry about this one and then you can add this group in a field level in a view level in, in a windows action level in a menu level and many more actions you can define the specific group right so this is basically a restriction for the specific users if you define a specific group those person can see the specific view part or some the specific fields right so this is all about the group then after there are two types of groups available the first one is the individual and another is the multi-level so how you can define an individual right so here you can see in the technical session here those are the checkboxes available right you can consider as a individual access right here and then after you can see multiple access rights you can just sales user type or administrator or invoicing there are many more is also available here the accounting part then after warehousing part sales purchase many things 
so don't confuse here if you see here in the billing you can see here list this is a combo box actually you have a list of uh, different roles i mean the groups also available here you can configure the specific feature the specific access rights to the specific feature only for for example here you can see this is invoicing right so for that one you can see here the billing then after advisor the accountant advisor like there are many hierarchies also available so what is done like let's say intern whatever the intern having access rights the junior having by default those one and they have a more rights right compared to the intern but let's say you have a senior person right the senior person having a basic they having a basic access rights of the junior level plus they have a more access rights so they this called a hierarchy so here i just called as a multi access group right you can also create you can see here the user type sales or administrator or the technical these are the group category right you can also create a group category in a different way and you can create a category under that category you can define a groups so here don't worry about how to create groups how to create access rights how to create a record rules i will give you a brief idea about the odoo security part let's back to here in the user profile to getting a more idea about the groups right so let's say this is a admin user right in a admin user you can see the user type and you can see the portal user or like let's say the public user and if i click to portal user you can see all other access rights remove automatically right and if i click to internal user by default you can see the other groups also visible here you can see invoicing so invoicing having like billing and the billing administrator so billing is a basic one the billing administrator having a full access rights of the invoicing right same like here also the administrator part and those are the individual groups here like let's say you want like for this user you want to add a discount line in the sales order you can tick this one then after the discount line automatically add visible actually in the front end side so this is actually a access right let me discard this one and this called a group and you can see here this is a group here list of groups also available and here you can see this group having a list of this user available then after inheritance right like there are three types of groups available for the cells like they can see all records like user can see all the records and this is the final word administrator you can also inherit the existing group right don't worry about this one here you can see menu so under this menu this group is assigned then after the views and after the access rights so here you can see those are the access rights this is the model let's say the contact model this contact model having these three operations right create you can see the read write and create no delete access right you can see here for the contact and you can see this is the administrator part you can also override this rule right this access right uh, we will see how right and then after you can see there are if in case any record rules available you can see here and if you go to in tactical scroll down and you can see here the record rules also available so those are the record rules let's say user type you can see right public internal and portal so here you can see the domain also available the specific which kind of record display for this user for this user for this user and they have here the record access right so this is all about the odoo security part i hope you having a basic informations about the odoo security part and let's do some practical examples from our next session and in case you have any doubt related to this topic please comment below and see you in next session